Great. Thank you for the introduction. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, it's my privilege to be able to spend a few minutes with you talking about what can be otherwise a very dark and mysterious place called the pharmaceutical industry, where um, many people just don't seem to understand all of the nuances and complexities. And especially given the backdrop of today's political climate, uh, it's becoming more and more imperative that people really understand what pharmaceutical industry uh, partners do, why they do what they do, and how it gets done. So today, I want to share with you uh, a few topics related to the pharmaceutical industry. We're going to talk a little bit about how it's designed uh, what it goes into the pharmaceutical industry. We're going to talk a little bit about how drugs are discovered, uh, the process by which uh, science uncovers new opportunities to create new pharmaceuticals, and then go into drug development. Once we've identified a drug, how do we then develop it into a commercial product? And then finally, we're going to conclude with a, a topic that's probably new to many of you called medical affairs. These are different than salespeople. Uh, these are people who have to represent uh, the medical side of the pharmaceutical industry to the real world. So uh, we will be watching for your chats, for your questions. And if you have any along the way, please feel free to share them and we will get to them as we can. And uh, so here we go, let's dive right on in. By the time we are done today, hopefully you'll get a sense of the industry's size and scope. Uh, you'll get to see what uh, what breadth the pharmaceutical industry has in the global economy, and then you'll be able to understand a little bit about some of the regulatory environment in which the pharmaceutical industry operates. Uh, we'll also understand a little bit more about the mission of discovery and articulate the different kinds of trials that drugs have to go through before they go on the market. And we'll co conclude with, of course, the um, many different functions that medical affairs deals with as they help represent the pharmaceutical industry to the broader scientific world. So pharmaceutical industry. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry is really quite a vast uh, network of companies. About 50% of the global pharmaceutical companies are located in the United States, and about 40% of them are located in Western Europe. The other 10% are scattered about the world, and these are just a few of the major players of the pharmaceutical industry. Companies like Genentech, Amgen, Merck, Pfizer, Sanofi, Aventis, and Novartis really make up a lot of the big players in that space. Uh, approximately uh, 1.7 to 1.9 million people work in the pharmaceutical industry worldwide. That's a lot of people and it gives you a sense of the scope of the industry out there in the broader uh, economy. Let me see if this will advance here. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry has gone through a lot of transitions and a lot of development over the past couple of centuries. Uh, back in the 19th century, uh, the pharmaceutical industry started coming into its heyday. Uh, given the need for uh, countries to, uh, to treat wounded soldiers and, uh, and, uh, and struggle with pandemic diseases, vaccines, antibiotics, and other kinds of uh, treatments were created so that people could have a better quality of life and overcome some of these uh, illnesses. Things like the flu and uh, 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 diphtheria, tetanus, rabies, and other kinds of uh, issues seemed to predominate the early 19th and late 19th century. Then going into the 20th century, we ended up with things like antibiotics, insulin, a global scale flu vaccines, polio, and so forth. And today in the 21st century, we're starting to get into the world of targeted therapies, where, um, where now we're no longer dealing with just uh, large scale epidemic type diseases, but we're now dealing with more uh, boutique diseases where we have diseases that make up 
very much smaller portions of the population, but have every bit as devastating an impact on those groups. And so as we move into the 21st century, the pharmaceutical industry will take on a bigger, um, broader perspective. Uh, we will be penetrating into more parts of the global economy. Well, typically when one thinks of the um, pharmaceutical industry, there are several kinds of divisions 